Hello and welcome to the daily number workout for fifth grade. We're on the number 55. So let's get started with our word form. So you're just checking your work. F-I-F-T-Y, pretty easy, five, F-I-V-E. And because there's a five in the ones place value, we know it is an odd number. Let's move on to factors. And what's nice about factors is that we can always look back and see the multiples of ever, other numbers. So we're gonna start off with one times 55. Two does not go in because it's odd. Three does not go in. Four does not go in because it's odd. Five goes in. Five goes in 11 times. 11 times five is 55. Six does not go in because six goes into 54 and six more would be 60. Seven doesn't go in because it goes into 56. Eight doesn't go in because eight goes into 56. Nine does not go in because five plus five is 10. And 10 doesn't go in because it doesn't end with a zero. So we are done. All right, looking good. Let's move on to our next category, which is multiples. So we know the first multiple of 55 is 55. One times 55 is 55. So let's go ahead and do the math here. 55 times two. So two times five is 10, drop the zero, carry the one. Two times five is 10 plus one is 11. So we have 110. 55 times three. Three times five is 15, drop the five, carry the one. Three times five is 15, plus one is 16. This is a good practice on our multiplying by five. 55 times four. Four times five is 20, drop the zero, carry the two. Four times five is 20, plus two is 22. So we have 220, 55 times five. Five times five is 25, drop the five, carry the two. Five times five is 25, plus the two is 27, 275. Let's do 55 times six. Six times five is 30, drop the zero, carry the three. Six times five is 30 plus three is 33. Do you see the pattern? So every other one, we have 110, then we have two, 220, then we have 330. So I would bet the uh, eighth one, eight times 55 will be 440. All right, let's go for the next one, 55 times seven. Seven times five is 35. Drop the five, carry the two. Seven times five is 35 plus two is 37. 375. And then we have 30, I'm sorry, 55 <laughs> times eight. A little messy there, but that's okay. We're not erasing. Eight times five is 40. Drop the zero, carry the four. Eight times five is 40 plus four is 44. Just like we thought was gonna be, look at that pattern, 110. Nice pattern. It helps us to remember what possibly 55 goes into a nine. Nine times five is 45, drop the five, carry the four. Nine times five is 45 plus four is 49. 495, and then of course, five times any number is that number with a zero in the ones place. All right, our multiples are done, looking good. Hopefully you're just patting yourself on the back. Let's go on to our next category, which is fractions, decimals, percents, and ratio. All right, here we go. So we're looking at our fraction today is 55 over 100, and out of all the factors of 55, 
five goes into 100 as well. So we're going to divide the top number by five and we're going to divide the bottom number by five. So you're going to write that down so you can see it. Oops, sorry about that. All right, so five goes into 55. We know from our factor pairs 11 times and five goes into 120 times. So we get an equivalent fraction of 11 and 11 twentieths. Let's head back to our original to get our decimal, which is zero and 55 hundredths. And of course that would be 55%. And our ratio would be 55 to 100 or 55 colon 100. All right, let's write this in words. So right here we have our fraction is 50, five hundredths. Our decimal is zero and 55 hundredths. Uh-oh, gotta go down the hill again. Happens to us all, doesn't it? All right. And then if we were going to put this in the decimal in uh, money form, we're going to say $0.55. So that's how we would write it with digits. Here's how we would write it in Word, $0.55. And sense. Boom. All right, let's move on to area. All right, so we only have two factor pairs, so we might be able to do all the work on this one. When there's not as many factor pairs, it's a lot easier to fit it on our paper and get the job done. So we're going to start off with our 55 by 1. So area A equals 55 times one, which equals 55 square units. And our perimeter then would be 55 plus one plus 55 plus one equals, well, we know 255 is 110, two more would be 112 units for our linear measurement doing the perimeter going around. All right, our next possibility would be a one by 55. So area equals one times 55, which of course is still 55. And our perimeter would be the same, but in a different order. Boom. All right, the next one would be a five or 11 by five, so I'm gonna just draw here 11 by five, 11 by five. I'm just drawing any kind of rectangle to represent what I want. We don't have to be perfect. So we have 11 by five equals 55 square units. And then we would find the perimeter would be 11 plus five plus 11 plus five equals, so 11 plus 11 is 22, plus 10 is 32. Wow, look at that. Went from 112 to 32, because we were making it more into a square. All right, and then another way we could write that would be, of course, if we drew a five by 11, so five by 11, five times 11 equals 55, of course, square units. And then this is, of course, just in a different order. Same numbers, different order, still 32 units. All right, let's move on to our volume. So I'll take that away to move my paper up. So we're going to take that first one and we're going to draw a 55 by one by one. So hopefully you did that. 55 by one by one. So that volume, I'm going to put it way up here. Volume equals 55 times one 
times one equals 55 square units, or I'm sorry, cubic units. I did that yesterday, cubic units. Happens, it happens. All right, we're gonna take this and we're gonna stand it on its head and it's gonna be a one by one by 55. One by one by 55. So that would look like this. One times one times 55. One wide by one deep by 55 tall. And of course that still multiplies out to 55 cubic units. And then we're gonna do a uh, long one by 55 by one. So we have one times 55 times one equals of course 55 still cubic units. Then we're going to have a 11 by five deep by one tall. Draw it over here, 11 by five by one. So we write that out, 11 by five by one equals 55 cubic units. Then we're gonna have 11 by one by five. So we're gonna stand that one up a little bit. 11 by one by five. So we come over here and we do 11 by one by five. See how we're just changing up the order of the numbers, but we still get 55 cubic units. All right, so we did 11, 11, let's do five first. So if we do five first, it would be a five by 11 by one. Might look like this, five by 11 by one. So five times 11 times one equals 55 cubic units. And then we're gonna change this up and we're gonna make it five by one by 11. Five by one by 11. So five wide by one deep by 11 tall, again, 55 cubic units. All right, then we can do the one first. So the one would be, and I'm gonna draw it over here, one by five by 11. One by five by 11. Just check them off. And then we're gonna do a one by 11 by five. So not as tall. Cubic units. All right, there we have it. Our volume is done. We're done with the number 55. Have a great day.